Hi, I'm Sister Mary Kay Druin. Um, I uh, live and have the privilege of ministering here in Appalachia in a little town called Beattyville in Lee County, Kentucky. And I've had the joy of ministering and being here and being filled with hope in my life for 43 years. I've been an Adrian Dominican sister for 57 years. And I always joke and say that I entered the convent when I was 12. The I keep saying it younger and younger as I keep rising up the ladder in age. Um, and feel really blessed all these years um, in ministry uh, by the Spirit God and just many, many wonderful things in my life. I was uh, dating a wonderful young man. I was in um, college um, the first couple of semesters um, in pre-nursing and we had met um, basically back in my senior year in high school and he wasn't Catholic but he was just a wonderful wonderful young man and my family really liked him and uh, we dated and were really quite serious <clears throat> well I came home from a date one night and I felt in my soul and my being that uh, God had given me, filled me with more love than just for one person. And um, the nuns had given me a little pamphlet years ago um, on single life, religious life, and married life. <clears throat> And I read that little pamphlet. It was, you know, probably one something like that in the morning. And uh, when I finished, it was the largest spirit spurt I've ever had in my life. I knew instantly that I was being called to be a sister. And so I went and woke my mom up because my dad and my brother were on a Cub Scout camping trip. And I said, Mom, I want to be a sister. I want to be a nun. And my mom said, Mary, that's okay, honey. We'll talk about it in the morning. And I said, no, Mom, I really want to be a sister. So we got up and had tea together. And um, my mom was so affirming, you know, whatever you feel God is saying to you, um, you know, we support you. I support you. And... Uh, she said, but you'll have to tell your dad. Well, like a lot of girls, I was uh, daddy's girl, and I was thinking, oh, this is going to really be rough because I had this boyfriend, and we were quite serious, and um, it wasn't like marriage was on the immediate, but, I mean, it, it looked like a possibility down the road. And, uh, and so I, dad came home, and mom took my brother back to the kitchen, and... Dad sat in his chair and I sat on the floor next to him and I said, Dad, um, I want to be a nun. I want to be a sister. And this is one of two times in my life that I saw my dad cry. And my dad started crying and he said, Mary, if that's what you feel and that's what God is saying to you, you, Mom, and I support you a hundred percent in that and we know that this is what you know God is calling you to and then I entered you know I entered the convent in 1960 and um, really have been totally blessed since then I never doubted when when uh, spirit moved me I knew the hardest thing for me was going to be not being a mom because I absolutely love children and uh, knew that that would be my gift to God. And uh, at the time, the thought of it, um, you know, was a little, a little difficult to understand. But as I moved on in my life journey, I've been a mom to so many children, much, a number greater than I could have ever been if I had you know, married Bob and had our own family. And uh, I look at how God has just blessed me 
in so many, many ways. This 57 years I've been an Adrian Dominican has been a wonderful and continues to be a wonderful journey.